Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares. Back to do another edition of About Last Nightmare. Now this is a segment I do with my very good friend Nick, the last shoegazer, where we watch a movie from our collection, separate, but together. Messaging back and forth. Sometimes cracking jokes, sometimes giving fun little facts, but overall just being goofy. It's a really fun way to watch a movie with someone that you can't be with in person. Now we do a two-part review. I do part one, of course, which is the facts and figures. Nick takes care of part two, which is a synopsis, our take, and rating on the film. Now, last night we watched Absurd. Now, Absurd is a 1981 film which runs approximately 94 minutes for the U.S. cut, um, 88 minutes for the Italian cut. Uh, now, I have the Severn edition of this film. Uh, Nick will be showing the 88 Films edition. Uh, both editions do have both cuts, but we watched the 94-minute U.S. version which I believe is the only one I've seen. Now, Absurd is directed by Joe D'Amato, who unfortunately passed away on January 23rd of 1999, the age of 62. Now, he was responsible for Zombie 5, Beyond the Darkness, which is an awesome film, and Anthropophagus. Now, this stars George Eastman. Well, he also did a lot of porn, too. <laughs> he had 197 credits, and most of those were uh, porn films. Now, this stars George Eastman as Mikos Stenopoulos. He also wrote the film, which I didn't know up until last night. And I thought that was pretty interesting. Now, he was in Metamorphosis, Delirium, and he had a bit part in Stage Fright, which was uncredited where he played one of the guys in the mask. This also stars Annie Bell as Emily, the, the nurse to their daughter. Nick will tell you more about that. Now, the only other thing I could find on her was she was in House on the Edge of the Park, and she also did a lot of porn. And finally, Charles... Baromel as Sergeant Ben Engelman. He was in Lady Hawk and The Blade Master. Now he passed away, I couldn't find too much on him, but he passed away sometime in 2007. Now we'll both be showing um, our versions, which is one of the reasons why the uh, paper isn't inside. Uh, like I said, Nick has the 88 Films version. Which he was, uh, which he got from his friend Steve, uh, '80s film fan, which was really cool of him to do. Um, I myself have the Severn version. Uh, Severn's one of my favorite companies, and um, you know, just the subtle differences in it. Um, show you guys the wraparound artwork, in case you don't have the Severn edition, which that is pretty cool. I might actually turn that around, but I do like this one as well. Um, yeah, they're both pretty cool. This is usually what I keep it on, though. Now, this comes with the DVD and the Blu-ray version of it. Um, last night, Nick had told me that his comes with a book booklet, but I will, um, let him show you that. It's pretty cool. Now, both transfers, I was actually kind of curious about the um, overall transfer on both of the films, since my last experience with 88 Films wasn't that great with uh, Splatter University. But um, he said his uh, cut of the film was actually, you know, the transfer was really good. They're both um, from a um, 2K scan from the original negative and gushing with all new special features. And I believe we compared, and I think that they have all the same special features, if I'm not mistaken. Now, this goes by several different names. It goes by 
Anthropophagus 2. Of course, Absurd, Horrible, and Rosso Sangui. And also, there's a title on this other one, too. Um, if I can get it. Maldition Satanica? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, this is a fun film. This is a favorite of mine. It is a direct Halloween ripoff. And a few interesting things about the film. The actors that played the bikers rode their own motorcycles. I thought that was pretty interesting. And the film was one of the original UK video nasties. And was banned by the BBFC in 1984. It was released uncut on Blu-ray by the UK in 2017. So that was pretty cool. That's, this is actually one of the very first um, video nasties, of course, being in alphabetical order. And uh, this is actually a favorite of mine. I'm glad to be able to share it with my friend Nick, who actually also enjoyed the film as well. You'll have to watch him to get our rating on the film. But um, yeah, definitely a fun hour and a half. So check out Nick. Last Shoegazer for About Last Nightmare Part 2. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.